Kate Thorne, the man, the legend who thinks he's cooler than Midas, but in your dreams, I'm um, no. What? Don't you see I'm at the middle of recording? Why are you calling right now? You just said Kato is cooler than Midas? Oh my shut up! Uh, huh? What? He's a five realities collector? A vampire? He's from Mega City? Looks extremely hot, goddamn. And a dang hotel manager? He owns an eclipse that is like a hotel? What? So what? Midas probably has a hotel too. He has a time machine that makes him go back in time and he killed Oro and is stealing his head? Going back into the time exactly when Oro came into the item shop? And he cut off Midas' hands as his collection? You telling me my man has his own personal car in the game right now? Midas didn't get any personal cars or anything, this is goldism! You know what? F*** you! No! No, Midas is cooler than Kate! No! But Kate is a fine reality is collector and five real no Midas is cooler stop it in this video we will go through who exactly Kate Ford is and why he's here reasoning why my man works for the last reality and why did even the last reality send him here let's begin with Kato's connection to the eclipse and what exactly the eclipse is Last season, the jungle people confirmed how the secret among the stars is like a place, a moon or a planet or something created like the cube cradle, just something. Then something blocking the sun like a circular thing would also have to be like a cube cradle or a moon or a planet or something like them. And that thing, whatever it is, that's being called the eclipse. Which the eclipse is like a huge planet or a moon that is, the whole thing is a hotel. I'm not kidding, it's a hotel. I will explain that later. Everything we have learned regarding the eclipse all comes from the jungle and last season. We now know what exactly was going on in there. First off, this device was actually showing off Kate Forns himself. The people here created this device for them to predict when exactly Kate Forn would be coming back into them, to the jungle, and to their reality. Then this other one to exactly predict how close the eclipse is to them. Now I want you to look at there, why is there exactly 5 rings? That's because the eclipse, whatever it is, it can travel the omniverse. But it does not travel between all realities or something like that. This eclipse was made mostly to go through 5 chosen realities, rotate between them. In a rotation which it switches between realities and that rotation being actually the 5 realities. Which yeah, I have made many videos on them, you need to check them out. How do I know that? For one, Dr. Stone says how the eclipse has happened many times times in the past. For one happening a lot in the jungle reality, being the reason for them creating devices to know when exactly it will happen again. That alone confirms how this eclipse and Kato can travel realities because reality zero is a lonely place, it would not have any planets or any other place in it with people on them. The only place with people on it in reality zero is the island, that's it, and the other one was ice moon but we don't know what's going on with ice moon anymore. So if in the past the eclipse went into the jungle, that piece, that thing would be in the jungle reality itself, not in reality zero. So we for sure know how the eclipse can travel realities and what we see here, these rings show each of the realities that the eclipse stops at. These circles are like stopping places for the eclipse. So this is the first circle, one reality that the eclipse goes to and waits there, does all the job that Kato has to do. And then after that, the eclipse goes to the second circle, the second reality he stops there again, Kato does his work, then he goes to a third reality, the eclipse stops there, does it work and everything, and then a fourth one, another stop, and the fifth stop being the jungle itself. That's why the laser from the telescope connects to only one circle and not all five. Because the jungle people created this to exactly find out when Kato and the eclipse will come into their reality, the fifth circle. So yeah, that is exactly why in this circle, the eclipse becomes full, there is no like moon thing in there anymore, it's a full thing and it has a logo in it. Because the eclipse has happened for the other four realities and now it is time for the fifth one, the jungle. Hey, Cyan, but is there more support for this? Of course there is.
When going through Kado Forms collection, especially in this place, there is something extremely interesting about them. You can only find collections from the five realities, nothing else, only the five realities. We got the Ophan reality collection, and then we got the Frozen realities collection, and then we got the Jungle realities collection. Then we got a collection from another reality that actually is not in the map yet, that being the desert. The Greek and Roman mythology inspired reality, which we recently even got the many Greek filmed skins coming in the future of the game, confirming how this reality also in the future will be shown off even more too. So as I said, you can only see collections from 4 realities here, nowhere else. But wait, I said 5 realities though, what, and now I say 4 realities? What is going on? Is it 5 or 4? Pick Cyan, which one? I will send you to Jesus, let me finish first. There is only one reality out of the 5, which Kato has like 0 collections of it. That's being the mega reality. But wait for it. Kado has a whole hotel fully built around mega reality's design and culture. Kado's favorite weapon is a kinetic katana which is from Mega 2. Ronin looks really similar to him and having a massive connection to the Eclipse as well. While Ronin himself being from the mega reality. Kado even looking somewhat Japanese to me. His henchmen being evolved wild cards which wild cards were confirmed to be from mega reality. Then moons most of the time being the reasoning for an eclipse, while moons are also a reason that tides happen. Then what are tides connected to? Yeah, the river guard. There is even this eclipse logo with tides in it. Yep, it seems like Kado's home reality is actually mega reality. Then that's exactly being the reason why Kado has no collection of the mega reality. He does not want to steal from his home world. Instead, my man Kado has made a full-on hotel based around his home. Home. My man uses his home's cultural weapons and even respects them. Kado was a mega reality person who has taken charge of the eclipse and what happens on it. Then if so, why is he a vampire? It's morbid time. We have not seen any vampires in the mega reality. Well, we actually have. Drift is from mega reality and he has a vampire form. While there is a whole group called High Stack Club built to kill vampires. Who the members of this group are actually Japanese, so from the mega reality. The more important thing is though, there were two things about Kato that kind of confirmed to me he's not a full vampire. For one, his emo transitioning him into a vampire takes the energy from these blue rings to make him become this. Those rings are what gives him the powers. Those blue rings either being gifted to him or he collected them. But the energy coming through the rings is said to be energy of darkness. Something which is bitter but Kate enjoys its power a lot. Kato connects to the darkness energy through these and transforms into a dark vampire through them. Then we know who ruler of darkness is. The god which last reality follows its vision, the nothing. If Kato allows darkness to fully take over his body, that means that he creates a direct connection from himself into the nothing, making him be a member of the last reality. But Kado last reality, why would the last reality need a hotel? Or why would the last reality be haste related? Well haste is because that is the culture of Kado's home, the mega reality. The haste things regarding the wild cars and so on. His home is that way, it's filled with haste and wild cars and so on, all being from the mega reality. So the theme around Kado his henchman and everything is haste and all because that is how his people are. But still, why a hotel? This is where it gets interesting. Yeah, the entire eclipse, whether it's something like the cube cradle or a moon or a planet, whatever. The whole thing is mostly a hotel. Every single POI we have gotten in this season is actually a hotel. This main POI is the hotel management where Kato is also located at. Along with his personal bed that is half surrounded by rocks. Dude, what is wrong with you? Imagine you go to sleep there and then you see like a bad dream or something and then you just... Jump out of your dream, your head is gonna smack into a rocky wall. No, seriously, Kato, 
What is wrong with you? How is your head still fine when you sleep there? I need answers! Ahem. Kato's personal car is also located in this place, which is actually the same car located in the lobby background too. Then the second POI is a full-on hotel. Here is where you put your bags and everything you have. Then you got your hotel rooms. You can even see those key card locks that you use a card in hotels to open the door. Here is the gym if you saw how thick this fish is. And you wanna become like thickness. God, he looks so cool. Here is your bathroom. A video game's bathroom is way cooler than my real life bathroom. Wow. You got a dang infinity pool. That's close at night. Personal room jacuzzi. You got your Eclipse Plus streaming service. Yeah, it plays Marvel movies. You're gonna love it. Rip off your arms and shove them up your butt. That's right, yes, go cry to your father, you little weasel. Even Ahsoka! You then got this heart shaped art, this glowy plant, which I hope we get a biome like that. Imagine a biome with glowy plants. That would so pretty, I need it. We got a tennis court, a pool table, your own personal Eclipse branded coffee machine, a dang coffee shop too? This one, this part is so gorgeous. Favorite part of the hotel. Seems like if you also go back here, they use a slurp in their coffees. I wonder how that would taste. Then this screen there reacts to the movement of your camera like the galaxy skins. But actually, if you look closely, the screen is fully cracked. The whole screen is filled with cracks. The attention to detail. God damn. There's outside drinking place. Wait, 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 now wait for this. A massage room! I need to be in this hotel right now. Whatever it costs, I'm down. Kato, take my soul. This is my wish right now. I wanna go lay on that massage table. Then we got my boy Fig Fish slowly walking in. Just with those thick, probably juicy hands. Uh, I'm so sorry. Please, don't leave the video. Anyways, the third hotel, which actually the island of it is the shape of an eclipse. This whole thing is made for the mega reality people. There is a full damn Japanese sushi restaurant in it. Then the logo of this one is connected to the tides and the river guardians. While there are even drawings of mega city found within it. Then even samurai suits like the ones in mega. I wanna bring up how these three hotels are exactly connected to the three biomes that those boner towers in season 2 were grown in. The hotel management exactly in the place of the citadel. A hotel within the frozen reality with ice views in the vault of it. Then even the same blue fire that the ice king had. This other hotel also which is completely built around the mega reality. Exactly three biomes we got towers in. And I just said how Kato should be from the mega reality. That would exactly show why the shapeless man in season 1 wanted the mega reality in here. Just like how Roni has proven us being from the mega reality and also having connections to the eclipse at the same time. This mega reality more than any other has the biggest connection to the eclipse. And so what I have been talking about right now is regarding how the eclipse is part of the last reality. What happened in season 2? Nox came in that season to delete every single file related to the last reality. If Kato as I said was in the mega reality but now he has joined the last reality what does that mean that would mean that in those files there were information about who kato is maybe even his weaknesses and his origin so nox needed those files deleted to keep kato hidden from us until this season begins what i'm trying to get into is that mega was brought into here and these towers used to bring the eclipse into reality zero how do i know that optimus prime legit somewhat said that in the last season. How there used to be an energy within reality zero. Something which used to protect us. But now this energy is no more here. Then Optimus says how our enemies have taken a notice of it. So therefore coming right towards us. What is coming towards us right now? The eclipse. That means that there was an energy in reality zero being the reason why the eclipse never made it into reality zero in the past. So the entire chapters, chapter 1, 2, 3 or 4 and what Herald 
did or everyone else. It was all to break and crush this energy. That's exactly why the last reality can just simply come into reality zero like nothing happened. It was because of this energy. So that even confirms the things I've been saying even more like what happened to the cube queen. She did not fail. It was all an act. It was part of the nothing's plan. Everything has always been going according to the nothing's plan. But now thanks to the IO being gotten rid of and this island completely blowing up. Then Nox coming in and these towers and the shapeless man, they all got rid of this energy finally. Don't forget how even the rift gate or the rift in the skies became red. If the mega reality is home of Kaido and mega is connected to the eclipse, then eclipse's whole theme is the color red. That rift gate blowing up also was the plan of the shapeless man aka the nothing to help create a way for the eclipse to finally come into reality zero. Cause again if you remember in season 1 after the rift gate blew up the shapeless man got happy so everything went as he wanted so yep Kato is with the last reality he is here because the energy is now gone and the nothing aka the shapeless man has sent him to us While there are drawings in this hotel showing off how he is connected to the last reality even more. Drawings of a cube family, season 6's cube floating island, and even the herald. Now talking about paintings, there is also this painting of an ice and fire being in the hotel at the frozen reality. Or the sideways are old islands being blue on top and red on there. This one being marigold, which brings up the fact that how much interest Kato has in Midas even more. This other art feeling kind of like the Doctor is shown to me. Many arts of Kato himself. My man just went into real life and stole Picasso to draw this for him. And not just that, look at this one. The fish queen is... What is going on anymore? A slap and a slurp collection art. Epic needs to sell this one in real life. I want it. And some other random ones. But yeah, the last reality related paintings show off even more how he's connected to them. Cause if not, why would you keep paintings of the people that try to kill you? Imagine Thanos kills off half of the universe and I draw a pretty art of him putting it in my house. Stop. But you would only do such a thing if you agree with what Thanos did. So Kato is a fan of the last reality. But again, what is a hotel for? Remember what Dr. Stone said last season. The jungle people found the secret being the eclipse. Then they turned the eclipse into their new home. I know what exactly she meant now. If this is the last reality thing, this hotel is only for the perfect beings. The ones who were told about the last reality idea. And the ones who accepted this idea while being a perfect person. But they are not part of the fighters. The only ones who will be part of the last reality itself once it is created. Those people are the people of the five realities who are perfected by the loop as I have explained in this video here. The eclipse as the circles show goes in a cycle into the five realities over and over again. Why? So Kato goes to them, searches to see who among the beings has become perfect and asks them if they want to join the idea of a last reality. Whoever says yes to Kato, just like what happened to the jungle people, Kato takes the them to the eclipse and as the Sloan says the eclipse becomes their new home like some of the jungle people while probably I think who does not join or is not perfect will be killed then those houses in the jungle with garlic in them those are probably the people who were not joining the last reality because if you didn't know vampires and garlic they don't really go well together so yeah these are the houses of the people that probably were killed being the reason why the jungle has no one in it anymore the jungle people either make the eclipse their new home or died. So anyone from the five realities who says yes to Kato and the shapeless man being the nothing, they will be taken into the eclipse. And eclipse as season 4 name says, being the paradise of the last reality people, the resting place for those last reality believers who do not fight, waiting and having fun here until the last reality itself is created. A life like this is what the nothing offers you and what the last reality is, but at the cost of all 
other billions of realities being murdered and killed. So to me it's not really worth the cost. But now that the energy is gone which pushed the eclipse and the last reality out from the reality zero, the plan and the idea of a last reality has begun. Kado as said here has turned this island into his new home now. Because this island was actually the beginning of last reality. And once the nothing goes shape plus man is here too, the last reality begins. End of all realities except one. The final war of Fortnite storyline being season 5 chapter 4. And this season's name being last resort is exactly talking about this. The last resort is the last hope we have left to stop the last reality. That's being the time machine itself. And why Dr. Stone built this team of haste men? She wants to steal that time machine, it's pretty much confirmed now. The time machine that should be hidden within this vault in the hotel management POI. Probably to be revealed in the future updates. And probably also Kato will keep using it to steal more mythics. Mythics may be like the infinity blade from the ice king teasing this loading screen. But now a soul wants us to steal this, then use it to go all the way back in time. Back to exactly when the loop was created on the island. Stop things right there. That is our last resort. There is no shot we can win this war next season. The key to our future is the past, as Optimus Prime said last season. And the man, your boy who predicted Fortnite Open World and never gave up on it. Fortnite Open World seems like it's coming in chapter 5 too. Yep, everything is going exactly like I said. For now, some other Kate collections is this thing I'm gonna make its own video in the future. So definitely subscribe not to miss that. Midas's hand. Hey, Kato cut off my boy's hands. I will unmorb you out of existence from what you did to Midas. Oh yeah, by the way, please use code sign in the item shop when buying the new battle pass. Thank you. So yeah, I think that was all I could find with Kato, which was a lot. Watch this video on your screen to find out why exactly the five realities are so important.